hey guys, I'm not dead. So that's obviously a, a positive thing to talk about for sure. I've been uh, staying with family on the mend. If you guys want to see a photo of what the incision looks like, uh, I'll show it in a little bit. First off, I'm going to say this before I go into my spiel. Thank you so much. Thank you to everyone who posted on the video I did about it and then on the subsequent community post I did. Thank you guys so much. It's so nice to have such positivity in a, in a situation that's quite stressful and quite worrying for not only yourself but your family and your loved ones and everything. So again, thank you guys. I really, really did appreciate all the positive, uh, the positivity I got. And that doesn't just go for people who are here on YouTube, obviously, but uh, all my friends, whether they contacted me on Facebook or on the phone, text, came and saw me in the hospital. I was amazed at how many people saw me in the hospital. It was very, very very nice, so again, thank you. Least to say as far as the surgeon told me, or more so told my mom, I was out cold during all this, but they said that they removed the lymph node that was attached to the tumor and the one adjacent to it. I thought they were gonna take out all of them, but I guess maybe just too much stress and not having someone else listen to all the important stuff was a little bit of my fault. So I only got two lymph nodes removed, but least to say, they told me the surgery would be this long. In actuality, it's about that long. Uh, otherwise though, um, I'm on the mend. I finished my hospital run one day early. I was off the epidural earlier. Mind you, that epidural's nice. My goodness, ladies. I understand why entirely you would want that for pregnancy because that thing was nice. <laughs> I was walking a lot earlier than expected. Admittedly, once everything down here started working again, all the bells and everything, that was a horrible, horrible experience. Hot blankets or a hot water bottle is your best friend in terms of surgeries like this. And I've had one next to me like it's my bloody skin. There's been a few a little improvements here and there. Admittedly, I'm still on some pain meds. I'm trying to wean off of them, but I feel that from the position I was in in my hospital bed, because I, I literally, only was able to sleep on my side just a few days ago. And I've been a side sleeper almost my entire life. So imagine when you were forced to sleep on your back um, because and you don't want to because of back issues. And that's what the epidural was kind of uh, having me avoid, but then it did come back. Hoping to be coming back and living at my house for a few days, but then I'm gonna be going away again. Um, I'm not working for at least six weeks. This will be just prior to the beginning of week three, so almost two weeks through this whole recovery thing. In terms of how quickly I'll be coming back to doing reviews, we'll see. I don't have a car right now because I can't, I'm not gonna risk trying to drive. <laughs> And the last thing I want to do is, I'm not saying I'm a bad driver, I'm a very good driver, but if I were, going to, were to get into a car accident with this thing, it would hurt like hell. And I guess I'll show you guys a photo now. This is this gnarly thing. That's 50 staples in me. That's 50 freaking staples. I can't believe how many staples are in me. I'm getting those pulled out this Thursday. I imagine that's gonna hurt like a bitch, but we'll see. Some people have told me different things. Um, they said more so, as long as you don't have much hair there and well at least to say my chest hair has been growing back like you wouldn't believe so uh yeah I'm, I'm not looking forward to that business otherwise there actually is one pretty cool announcement i have i got contacted by another youtuber by the name of jade way she's been a big uh, supernatural follower for a while and she has a pretty big following for her channel and she actually asked me to do a sit down to talk about the uh, just everything to do with supernatural someone actually suggested me thank you for who who did that um this all happened apparently the day or so after my surgery no actually it was the day almost the day of my surgery so i really didn't i couldn't respond for a few days anyways though um thanks for the one who suggested me for that and then also uh i'm looking forward to doing this conversation where it's gonna be like a skype call thing and she's gonna edit it and it'll be on her channel so i'm looking forward to it it's gonna be a cool kind of back and forth talking about um, their thoughts of the supernatural. Obviously, I am the more the antagonist or the the uh, the critical mind. So, but she's very open to that, which I'm very happy for. I'm always open for a constructive conversation and discussion about supernatural and the way it's been going. So, anyways, that's really all I can say about that. Uh, thank you guys again for your support. It's been really nice again to hear all the positivity from you guys, and I hope to be up and running to an extent soon. Anyways, see you guys next time.